Hey, welcome to the Hunter Controller programming video. We'll be covering the topics of how to program your start times and run times and days to water into the controller. And we'll be using the Hunter Pro C controller for the example. It's a very easy process. We'll get you right through this. As you look at the controller here, keep in mind you've got the dark blue area of the face pack. That's where you're going to have your set program start times, your set station run times, and set days to water. So kind of all the action happens here in this dark blue area. Um, I've got a chart here to the left and I want to briefly touch on programs A, B, and C. Every program is going to have three ingredients to be complete. Start time, run time, and days to water. Think of it like having three separate controllers hanging on the wall here. Controller A, B, and C. Within each of the programs, the first ingredient start times, you can have up to four cycle starts for the program maximum. You don't need all four. You can use all four. You have to have at least one cycle start for that program to begin. You do get up to four though. And as far as the run times go, you can include every station that exists in the controller, part of them, some of them, one of them, five of them, whoever you want to invite into that program with the run time will operate under that program. And then the last portion is days to water and you can select yes or no for your days to water within that program. We're going to set up a program, one for the lawn area, which wants to water five days a week. And then program B we'll set up here briefly is going to be for some trees, for example, that only want water one day a week. And first, I'm going to have you program the current time and day by turning the dial to set current date and time. The first thing you'll notice is in the screen, the year is flashing. It's also denoted by the word year here in the lower right corner. We're going to be using the plus and minus button to change whatever is flashing and then use your left or right arrow to navigate forward and back to the other settings. So plus or minus changes whatever is flashing, right arrow and left arrow navigates through this feature of current date and time. It now shows 2008 so we'll hit the plus button twice and it shows 2010. If you're happy with the year, hit the right button to go to the next feature and that shows month. This one shows January, one is flashing, so I'll change January to April by using the number four. And when the month is set correctly, use the right arrow to go to the day of the month. And today is April 27th. Instead of going plus forward, we can go minus backwards, and we can go backwards over to 27. When the day is set correctly, you'll use the right arrow button. And the next one is AM, PM, or 24 hour mode. Right now it's flashing on AM, that is correct. I could change that to PM by using the plus button, or I could hit the plus button one more time and it goes into 24 hour mode or military time. We want AM in this case, so I'll go hit the plus button once more and it goes showing AM in the corner. Hit the right arrow and now we're dealing with the hours and minutes. The hour portion is flashing and right now it's 8 o'clock AM, so I'm going to hit the plus button up to number 8. Use the right arrow to change to the minutes, and I'm going to go backwards down to the top of the hour, 8.00 a.m. And once your hours and minutes are done, hit the right arrow, that's the last function within set current date and time. The year is flashing again, so we know that we've completed all the steps. Simply turn the dial back to the run position, and it'll show 8 o'clock a.m. on Tuesday.